Many people often have confusions between a health insurance plan and a critical illness insurance plan. They mistake one for the other. In this episode, I am going to talk to you about everything that you need to know about these two plans and help you decide should you have a health insurance plan or should you have a critical illness plan or you should have both of them. This is NRI Money Clinic for you and I am Dr. Chandra Khan but investment consultant and a financial planner. NRI Money Clinic. No hype, just the right advice. Health insurance plan and critical illness insurance plan. These two are entirely different. They are not same. People get confused with one with the other. That's a different story. But in reality, these two are entirely different. Their purpose is different. The way they operate is different. The premium you pay for that is different. Everything is different. Let's see one by one the things you need to know about these two plans. A health insurance plan or a medical insurance plan is a plan which will help you to offset your medical expenses. If some person gets into hospital because of some disease, the costs which get attached with that hospitalization is taken care by a health insurance plan. It's a reimbursement plan. Suppose you have a 5 lakh insurance and your hospital bill is a lakh of rupee. When you get into the hospital, a health insurance plan only reimburses you the cost of your medical treatment only. A critical illness insurance plan on the other hand has nothing to do with your hospital bills. It's a part of your life insurance policy. It's a rider which is added to your life insurance policy. A life insurance pays a certain amount of money called the sum assured to the nominee in the unfortunate event of death of the policy holder. If a critical illness rider is added onto it for whatever the value it is, in the event of designated critical illnesses, the person who suffers critical illness, in this case the policy holder, gets a large amount of money for himself. I will explain this with the help of a small example. Let's say that you have a life insurance policy which gives you 300,000 US dollar as a life insurance and you have put a rider of 100,000 as the critical illness insurance sublimit on this. If the policy holder dies, the nominee will get 300,000 US dollar. Instead of that, if the policy holder suffers a critical illness, in that case, the sublimit of 100,000 which is accepted as a critical illness rider is paid out to the policy holder himself. So critical illness insurance has nothing to do with hospital bills. How does it get paid out? Whenever the person suffers from one of the critical illnesses which are listed in the policies, these days you get policies which have 32 to 36 different critical illnesses which have been accepted or listed as critical illnesses. The moment a person gets diagnosed with one of these diseases, this entire amount which is mentioned as critical illness benefit gets paid out to the person. Now let us look at our problem. The problem is should I buy a health insurance plan or should I buy a critical illness insurance plan or should I have both of these things. Let's discuss this and try to find an answer. Now first of all, health insurance plan is a must. You just can't afford to have no health insurance plan. Now if this health insurance plan is given by your employer, that is okay. If you don't have one, I would suggest you must have a health insurance plan if you don't have till now. Even when you have a health insurance plan and if you are an NRI, if you are above the age of 45 years of old, if your job is not stable, I would suggest you at least have one health insurance plan with a deductible plan or it's called as the top up plan. So you please make sure that you have the one. The benefit that you get in the case of a health insurance plan is if you were to get admitted to hospital or you go to hospital for any treatment, the cost associated with this hospital will be reimbursed by this medical insurance subjected to the upper limit. So this is a must that you should have whether you have a critical illness plan or not. Now you know that your expenses pertaining to your hospitalization will be taken care by health insurance plan. Why should you have a critical illness insurance plan? Will it not be a duplication? The answer is no. The critical illness insurance, the purpose here is entirely different. 
if a person gets diagnosed with one of the critical illnesses which are listed in your policy a big lump sum amount of money mentioned as sum assured will be released to you it could be 100000 50000 whatever the sum assured level you have packed in your policy that amount will get paid to you what is the purpose of having this large amount of money as a benefit in critical illness insurance i will explain critical illnesses are those disease which will not kill you but they will not allow you to work temporarily or permanently if a person suffers from a critical illness it is estimated that normally it takes 2 to 4 years for him to get back to work if at all if he goes back to work now this has very severe consequences when a person suffers from critical illness and if he is not able to go to work what will happen to his job his employer will be empathetic to him he will express his sympathies but an employment is a commercial organization it cannot keep you on rolls permanently it will accommodate you to the extent possible the paid leaves the unpaid leaves the three months sick leaves or whatever the benefits that are there in your employment contract the employer will extend you beyond a point employer will say look this is a commercial organization this cannot run so you need to leave this organization suddenly you are in a situation where in which you are not dying you have suffered a critical illness but your employment is not there that big fat salary what used to come at the end of the month suddenly stops if you are the sole bread earner of the family now you land into a position where in which the salary that you are getting has stopped but your expenses are not stopping now the health insurance plan what you have will take care of your expenses related to the hospital but what happens to your living expenses what happens to your rentals what happens to the emis that you are paying for the properties what happens to the contribution you are making towards your children's education or for retirement funding or any anything else you suddenly see you are losing control of your life now in such a circumstance imagine a large amount of money is being paid to you it will give you options it will replace that lost income that you lost from your employment so now you don't have a job or you don't want to go to job it gives you an option to stay at home for 1 2 3 4 years depending on your uh, critical illness benefit that you have in your plan or depending on your cash position this gives you the option the real purpose of critical illness insurance is to replace your income it is not for meeting the hospital bills which is obviously taken care by the health insurance therefore next time you have a doubt in your mind should you have a health insurance or should you have a critical illness insurance my answer to you is you must have both health insurance and the critical illness insurance the health insurance given by your employer is fine but the critical illness insurance part even if your employer has given for you my suggestion is you have critical illness insurance on your own i'll be doing a video separately why you cannot count on the critical illness insurance given by your employer that video will get published in a couple of weeks from now but for the time being you just remember you must have both health insurance and the critical illness insurance plan in your portfolio by the way if any of you are looking to buy a critical illness insurance policy or a life insurance policy or a health insurance policy or looking for a professional help to do your financial planning you can make use of my services as well i have provided my contact number here on the screen you can reach out to me from any part of the world through a whatsapp message feel free to contact me and make best use of our services dear viewers if the topic that i discussed today was useful to you give me a thumbs up if you are watching this program for the first time or if you are yet to subscribe for this channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon don't forget to share this video with your near and dear ones i will be back with you with yet another video on one more topic very very soon thank you very much for watching this episode on nri money clinic press the bell icon for more details and subscribe our channel